good morning, folks, and welcome to another edition of MJ Adventuring. I am here with Josiah, and we are on our way to the lake to do a little fishing. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. It's uh, overcast skies, although it's probably going to burn off here before too long as the sun starts to get higher. Uh, but nice, you know, 65, 70 degrees outside, and it's just going to be a beautiful day. So. Looked like all signs pointed to go fishing. So that's what we're doing. And today is a special day also because not only are we going fishing, which obviously makes every day special, but today is the first time that Josiah will be going out on the boat. What do you think about that, buddy? Are you excited? Yep, he says he's excited. He hides his emotions very well. So, uh, what are we going to be doing? Well, in uh, sort of the vein of our previous video about getting your kids started fishing, basic fishing, uh, that's sort of what we're going to focus on today. Uh, how to do that, not from a bank, but from a boat. You know, obviously if you own a boat, you probably already know all of this stuff, but maybe you've never taken your kids out before on your boat. Or maybe you're interested in getting a boat, but you don't know if it would be safe for children, things like that. So, uh, yeah, we'll cover some of those things and how I approach that and how we stay safe on the water and how we generally just have a good time. So stick with us and hopefully we'll get on some fish and you guys can tag along. All right, well, we will see you on the important things when you're fishing with kids or have kids on the boat in general is to have a child size PFD. In North Carolina um, they actually have to wear these until they're a certain age but if your state doesn't require it it's still a really good idea. Um, I like this one here a lot because it's it's small enough that it fits him and it's big enough that it fits um, even Jack our oldest and I really love that it has this this strap here that goes through the crotch or through their legs and then buckles right here and you cinch it down like this and then tuck it up in here because if you've ever seen a, you know videos of kids swimming with um, a life jacket on or a PFD you know a lot of times it's like up here and it's all around their head and you're you know they could almost slip through it but with this strap here that buckles it can't go up any further than that strap allows and you want it to be, you know, not so tight that it's suffocating them, but it shouldn't move around a lot either. So, extremely important. Uh, if you don't have one, get one for your kids. If your state doesn't require it, do it anyways. Um, So like I said before, we're just doing basic fishing today. I got um, this here rod is a uh, Eagle Claw 
uh, Featherlight 5 foot 6 inch ultralight and just a cheap reel I got off the internet and a hook, a little piece of split shot, a small bobber and we'll get our worms here out of the creek. fished this spot before and we've caught a ton of fish right there but they also love to stack up along this uh this riprap barrier here there's a golf course right over here to our right and that's something that's important um to know is is fish generally orient themselves to some type of structure so whether it's like that down tree right there See, fish just pop right there. Or whether it's this riprap out here. Fish love structure. They love to be around something. I don't know whether it makes them feel safe, protected, or what. Um, but all right, here goes. First cast of the day. Jojo, Josiah, here, real, real, real. Goodness, real, 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 real. real. Hello, I can breathe fast. <sighs> First fish of the day. Good work, buddy. I did. What'd you get? What is that? I don't know. That's a bluegill. A bluegill. <clears throat> You like bluegills? Yeah, yeah me too. So when you're fishing on a boat, you gotta be able to multitask. You got waves coming at you from other boats going by or the wind pushing you. You gotta be able to, you know, don't let your, don't get so concentrated on what you're doing that you can't Remember, oh gosh, my boat is about to go right into the shore and, you know, I'm about to run my motor right over these rocks or whatever. So, I kind of got to do a lot of things at once out here. Buddy? Yeah, buddy. You know, we float down sink in the water. Yeah, it can, you're right. Oh, Jojo, Jojo, we got a fish. Oh, he came off. He does the thing, but Bobby does that another Yeah. Make sure you got plenty of hook point exposed. Daddy? Yeah, buddy. Yeah? Daddy? Hey, buddy. Uh, oh, Jojo. Ah, uh, is he still there? He's still there. Here, real. Hold it right. You got him, man. Look at you. All right, stop reeling. Let go. Look, you got a fish. Will, will, will that yeah, we'll let him go. Why? Because we don't need to keep fish today. We do so deep one. You wanna hold him? Yeah. You wanna let him go? Yeah. Alright, toss him in the water. Oh, you missed. <laughs> Alright, one thing I forgot to do was to crimp this barb. A lot of times when I'm just doing this type of fishing, I'll mash that barb down as best I can. It makes getting the hook out 
a lot easier. And if you're planning on releasing your fish, then there's no sense in making life difficult to uh, get that hook out. You like that motorcycle? Good. Oh, there's a fish. Jojo, you want to reel him up? Reel, reel, reel. Reel, reel, reel. Reel, reel. Lift him in the boat. There he is. <laughs> He's always flapping. He's always flapping. Yeah. Hold on to the rod. Right, another bluegill. Whoop, we dropped him again. He's so floppy. Yeah, so floppy. And it's okay to put this in the bottle. Uh, There's our hot yoga people over there. I mean, I guess that's hot yoga. I don't know. They're doing something. Got our jamming music. You ready to reel one up, bud? Yeah. All right. Get ready. What are you doing? There you go. Reel, 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 reel. Can <laughs> you want to fast? Can yeah. It? Ah, there he is. You got him. Now he's just looking in a boat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there you go. And back and whoa. Whoa. Come here. Jojo, stand up, buddy. You have fish. Real, real, real. Real, real, real. Real, real, real. Hey, he's probably coming up. He's probably coming up. Yeah. Right, there he is. And me. That's a good one. Yeah. Another bluegill. Yeah. But I mean, he's happy. You think he's gonna be floppy too? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Oh, pretty fish. All right. Whee! And he didn't flop. Didn't flop? No. You having a good time? Yeah. Jojo, you ready to reel one up? Yeah. I need to get it. I know how to bobble's tail. I know how to. Yeah, honey. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Here, that's a really good one. Here, hold the, hold the rod up here. Now reel. Reel, 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 reel. Reel, 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 reel. Good job, buddy. That's a good fish. I don't do it. There he is. It's happy. Oh, he's... He's super flappy. Yeah, he's foul hooked. Yeah, super. Not sure how that happened. All right. Daddy made a a fish made a bit super. He did. Yeah. See, even a post sticking out of the water like that can be enough structure for a fish to associate to. So, I kind of missed it with that cast, but. Might be something near it. Let's see if I can hit it. <coughs> All right. Am I right? Will there be a fish there? Daddy, did you miss bobber? Oh, not, not this time. Yeah, that's a good bobber. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Nothing there today. Oh, goodness. There he is. Look at there. 
Our first bass of the day. So there's a super tiny little bass, and he hit that little worm on the retrieve. Yeah, you can touch him with it. Poke. See ya. Yep, that's the good side. All right. So again, we got a uh, this big lay down, this big tree that's fallen into the water. All of those branches are structure for the fish to hang out in, hide from predators and whatnot. So we'll cruise over there. Let's see if there's anybody home. You know, I do a lot of catfishing. And I honestly have almost as much fun catching bait like this as I do catching catfish. Um, there's just something about it. Oh, here's a good one. All right, so I don't know if you can see that little hump in the water there. That is a, a stump that's sticking up a little bit. Those are great places to try, even though um, they don't have to be very big above the water for there to be a lot there under the water. And that is, after all, what the fish need, right? Something under the water. They don't care what it looks like up here. All right, nothing, nothing by the stump today. That's okay. You gotta try, right? All right. Let's fire one into this tree. Oh man, we are really hung. Let's see if I can pull us out. Jeez. Man, I did not want to blow this spot. Lost it. Dang. All right, so we have finished bluegill fishing because Josiah was tired of that and wanted to use our big rods. So now we've moved over to catfishing, which is a little bit slower process, so a lot more patience required. And so far, the little man is doing great. You having fun, Josiah? So, um, tips for keeping kids content on the boat. One, snacks. Food right? Give them something to put in their mouth and they'll stay happy a lot longer. Apples, crackers, um, cheese sticks, you know, stuff like that, whatever. Something to keep them occupied. Um, plenty of drinks, you know, we got a cooler full of ice waters and um, Gatorade and that helps out a ton. You know, you know, nothing's worse than having a hungry and thirsty kid on a, uh, a floating playpen that they can't leave. You know, it's not like he can go run around right now. He's stuck here. Um, you know, he's got a little mobility, but certainly not like at home. You know, he gets bored, go to a different room and do something else. Um, and then stuff like, you know, toys, things like this. Um, just some cars and uh, motorcycles in here. I just grabbed this on the way out the door, but stuff that he can play with here on the boat is always a good idea to have something to keep them you know just break up break up the uh the monotony um that makes sense Ooh, a hook so yep now we wait and maybe we'll catch some catfish if we do i'll be sure to show you all right well we got our first catfish uh, it is a teeny guy but that's okay better than getting skunked and we're gonna get them unhooked now. Now, you gotta be so careful with these little guys because they, um, people think that catfish whiskers sting you. Um, the whiskers can't sting you at all. Like these, ow, see, crap. You gotta be careful. Um, the whiskers can't harm you at all. What hurts are these right here. That's what I just poked myself on. They've got spines on their fins, here, here, and then here. And these little guys, the bigger the fish is, uh, the duller their spines are. It's the little guys that hurt you. Um, I've seen videos of guys that have a fish this size or smaller, literally put the spine through the man's finger. And uh, he had to make the choice whether to rip it out or go to the hospital. 
and uh, so he chose to rip it out and keep fishing that day. So be careful with the little catfish for sure. And there he goes, back to the dips. Let's see if we can get another. Oop, that rod there is going off. Daddy, Poppy, just a big one. Yeah. Well, we are leaving that spot. Only got the one little guy and a couple, a couple hits, but nothing really wanted to commit. So, a good rule of thumb when you're catfishing or anchored up somewhere is um, don't stay longer than you know 15, 20 minutes unless you're really just catching them right and left. Um, so that's that's what I do. I, I'll sit in a spot for 10, 15, 20 minutes. And if I'm not getting on fish pretty quickly, I'm going to pull up anchor and I'm going to move and go try somewhere else. So uh, we were sitting underneath that bridge back there. And there's another bridge up here. And those, both of those bridges are uh, usually pretty good spots. They're, they're choke points where the fish have to go through them. Um, obviously that bridge back behind us is uh, a lot bigger uh, than the bridge that we're about to get to. So, they really are forced into a, a narrow spot in this bridge up here that we're about to get to. So, um, yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so you can see here, this is another bridge that I like to target at this lake. And um, it's obviously much, 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 much smaller than the other one. Um, it's also a lot shallower, and uh, but there is a, a deeper trough that runs through here where the bridge is. So we're gonna anchor up and give this a shot, see if we can't find something. All right, well, we're sitting here underneath the bridge and we just caught our first fish. It's a little brown bullhead. Uh, these guys are, you know, obviously like other catfish, They've got the same spines that you got to be careful for, and uh, they don't get a whole lot bigger than this. Um, but they're pretty little guys. A lot of fun. All right, let them go. And now we've got to make a run all the way back to the marina because a little man just told me he's got to poop. Got to do what you got to do. We're gonna go super fast so that you can go poop. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, we made it back out on the water after our emergency bathroom run, but things have really slowed down. We haven't even gotten another bite yet, and um, it's getting pretty late in the afternoon, so it is time to get little man back home so that he can have his nap, and um, so that I can take care of some other stuff. But thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you see that you can have a lot of fun um, taking your kids fishing, even if you don't catch a ton. They still have a good time and you can too. All right, well, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell button so you get the notifications when we put out a new video uh, as we put out new videos every Saturday morning and you don't want to miss out on all this fun. All right, well, this has been Jeff and Josiah from MJ Adventuring and we hope you guys have an awesome weekend.